Welcome to the LiDAR Basics video series. This is the TerraScan introduction. I am Emily. So we're going to start off uh, by opening up our microstation. This assumes that you already have it loaded. So as you can see, I already have a couple project files. So we're going to make a new file. So you click on new file. You're going to navigate to where you want to save your new file. I already have a folder made for it, so navigate to there. Give it a name. I'm going to call it tutorial. Uh, give it something informative. Save it as .dgn type. Now, I already have a what's called a seed here, but you might not, so this is how you navigate to where your seed is. Mine is in my C drive under Terra. Uh, you go to the seed folder, and there's going to be multiples. I always choose the 3DCM. So you can copy the pathway and then write the name in, or just copy the file path into here. Then you click Save, and that'll open up a new project for you. Uh, mine already has a license in it, so I'm going to press OK. Your guys' probably won't have TerraScan open up with it. So to get TerraScan loaded, because it's not usually loaded like this, you go into your MDL applications, which you can also search for. It's under Utilities, MDL application. So you click on that. And you can, in your available applications, look for a TerraScan, T-Scan, um, or you can check to see if it's already loaded. Mine is, so mine's T-Scan there. So if it's not loaded, click on it, press load. I'm obviously not going to do that because I already have it loaded. So once you've loaded your TerraScan, you'll see the TerraScan toolbar show up where you can load your points. So file, read points. We're gonna load in our LiDAR data. It's going to let you navigate to where your data is. So here's mine right here. If it's not showing up, it might be that your file type is wrong. So you can go into that and direct it to what type of file. Or just type all files, select it, and it'll open up the read points window. This will show you the format, the file name, the number of points. It defaults to loading every point, but you can do only every tenth point, one hundredth, or one thousandth point. The value of this would be if you have a massive data set and just want to see the extent. This will take much less time to load that area. Um, yeah, so you can do only a certain point, and you can also load a specific class, so ground class, vegetation class, because um, most of the LiDAR data will have large points, so press OK, and then you'll get this window, the reading file window. So this is my LiDAR data. Uh, it's a 4x4 four four area in the boreal region of Canada. So it's not the greatest view, it's all one color, and the reason for that we can see if we go to Tools, Show Statistics, and you can see it has defaulted into all one single class. It has not classified. Every point is in the class zero. So we can close this. Um, we're going to try and view it a different way. So go into View, Display Mode, and we're looking at view one, so you can color it by class. So there's one class, so that's why it's all white. So you can do class by intensity, echo, elevation, a couple other ones. We're going to go echo first of all, so number of returns. Press apply, and you see a coloration version. Close that up because it's in the way. This tool, the draw vertical section, it's a really handy little tool. It allows you to see a different view, so you can click once, drag it across the full area you want to view, click it again, and it'll click the depth you want to view, and then click it over into the view too. So it's defaulted into that one class, so we're going to go into view, 
display mode, view to, color by echo as well, press apply, move that over so it's not in the way. And now we can press the pan button, the little hand button, and drag it over, 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 and kind of get a good view. Now this little button, it's called the, wait for the bar, the rotate view. And you can rotate the view to look at it in any direction. One of the nice parts of LiDAR is you can look at it upside down, right side up. This kind of gives you a view of the little forest. You can see a seismic line in there. And if you don't like that view, you can just view previous. So it'll take us back to our last view. Can pan back over. Panning, panning, panning. Now, this was a pretty big section. So you can actually do smaller, uh, thinner slices, what is what you'd call it. So you just don't expand it. The second click much thinner slice much sort of sparser this is closer to like a 10 centimeter area sort of thing which is why it's a much thinner and sparser density or you can also do a smaller area so this is just one little section of the lake we're going to go into display mode and look at a different coloration and different weight so here you can do the weight class press apply <laughs> and this will show up the point the lighter points at different densities so a heavier weight makes the points just look bigger basically I like it at one so I'm going to move it back to that now we're going to change color again um, so we're going to color it by class and intensity which is a pretty valuable uh, view and here we can see a wetland complex and another one, this is a little pond here. So we're gonna zoom into a very small area here, just of the transition zone of the pond. And again, we have to change the color and intensity of both views. So we're gonna, oops, <laughs> we're gonna pan over here. So with the intensity, you can actually start to see some more information. You can see this looks pretty much like a single stem. You can increase the weight of the dots and see it a little better. Kind of a cool view. You can see a lot of the trees here. So just play around with it too. I love the rotate view function because you can look at it from every angle and see a little bit more information. You can also classify a uh, color by different things. So this is coloring by elevation now. Oh, or I guess it didn't work. Coloring by elevation now. So this is, you can see the water pretty well here because it's at the lowest elevation. We're gonna color view two by that as well. See the same slice of the wetland. Zoom out a little bit and look at it in a couple different views. There we have a quick introduction into just viewing and displaying your LiDAR data in a couple different ways and loading it into a new project in Terrascan. I'll see you in the next video.